Good morning, reader friends, or good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is where you are at. I hope it's good. Last night, I did a really stupid thing. Well, it didn't feel stupid in the moment, but now it's feeling very stupid. And I stayed up until 3 a.m. watching the second season of What of Us is Lying, the show that is based off of the Karen McManus book. Yeah, so I binged it last night and I have like two more episodes left till I finish it. Today, I have the day off, it is a Thursday, and I wanted to just have a nice, cozy reading and TV show watching day because I feel like all I've been doing is freaking working. So I'm trying to take today to just fill out and have a good day and enjoy my time off. But before we go too far in today's video, I do want to talk about the sponsor, which is Book of the Month. I freaking love Book of the Month. I've been with them for months now. And every single month, they just keep slaying and slaying and slaying it with the book choices. If you don't know what Book of the Month is, it is an online book subscription service where their team vets through like hundreds of books to pick out ones for us to then choose from. Out of those, it's new and early release titles, it's debut authors, it's mysteries, thrillers, romance, um, contemporary fiction, they've got all of the genres. I really enjoy Book of the Month because they are also risk-free. So if you ever need to like skip a month for any reason, they won't charge you for it. For this month, I chose the writing retreat and the Stardust Thief as my add-on. That's the really cool thing about uh, Book of the Month too, is that you can pick either like two books from their like book choices of the month, or you can choose um, like an add-on from all their like backlist items, which I will say are fantastic. The writing retreat sounds very intriguing. It is like a mystery thriller. I think it's a little bit of a horror as well, but it is about this um, woman who is trying to be a writer and she goes to this like retreat for like other authors, but then people start like getting killed off or something. And then her ex-best friend is there and it just sounded like a wild ride. And I love books about books or books about authors. So I think it's gonna be really fun. And then the Stardust Thief is actually, I think it's an Aladdin retelling, I wanna say, but it's just a fantasy, magical, fun, adventurous. And that's kind of something that I've been craving lately is just that like adventure, high stakes type of feeling. And I believe it might have like an enemies to lovers romance subplot, I think. So those two both just sounded extremely intriguing and I'm so excited to get into those. Book of the Month has the best pricing for new hardbacks. I mean, you can get your first one for $9.99 today with code Warm Up. Getting a brand new hardback for $9.99 that's a steal. I love the code because it's making me feel like spring is upon us. And I'm just thinking warm thoughts. If you head over to bookofthemonth.com, you can look through their picks for the month and choose either two of those, or if you want to do one of those and an add-on. Like I said, they have a lot of really good selections for add-ons as well. My boyfriend is gone on a work trip, so I am alone, kind of. I still have my roommate, but like, I'm alone. And although it is nice having the bed and the room to myself, it is also kind of lonely and depressing. So I want to go out and do things that make me happy because I feel like I am kind of getting a little bit depressed again. So we're gonna go do things that make our hearts full. So with that, I think the plan for today is I need to drop off a bunch of books at the library. So I'll probably go do that. And then when I'm there, I'll probably look around a little bit. I do have something to pick up anyway. So we'll do a little switcheroo. And then I do want to go to Barnes and Noble just to kind of browse around, look around. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything. That might be a lie, but we'll see. And then I need to go to Trader Joe's to get some snackage and just some groceries for the week. So I'm going to my top three comfort places today. So even though I'm still going to have like a busy day, it's going to be like a comfort busy day, you know? So it is about 12 right now. I got up so late. I think I slept until like 1030 and then actually got out of bed at like 11 30 so it's about it's about 12 20 right now so i think i'm going to 
get my butt up and get out of the house now. So I will see you guys at the library. places that I went to. I ended up going to Barnes and, wait, no, the library and then Barnes and Noble and then Target. And then I went to my local co-op. So like my local health food store, one would say. But I did get some fun stuff at Barnes and Noble. So first of all, I got Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies at the library because I I'm not a huge cozy fantasy person and I didn't know that that's what this was. So I'm gonna try out the cozy fantasy genre. I mean, like I did like House in the Cerulean Sea, which was a cozy fantasy pretty much, but I was nervous to buy this because I just want to make sure I really enjoy it first. So I got it at the library and I'm hopefully going to start it very soon. It literally looks like I'm the first person to even check this out because it's like brand new. But what sucks about new releases with my local library is that you can only check them out for 14 days. So I have to read it soon, unless I just end up buying it, which I probably will, but I just, I wanted to check it out first. But anyway, so that's what I got at the library. And then at Barnes and Noble, I ended up getting Daughter of the Pirate King. I've been in a really weird, like piratey, mood i guess i would say like just more of like adventurous books more um different types of fantasy because i feel like the fantasy i read a lot of is like fairies and magic and stuff like that but i've just been really craving like a pirate story so i got this one and i'm really excited for it someone on here said readers should rejoice because we now have a lady jack sparrow on our hands and I love Jack Sparrow so much. Pirates of the Caribbean is literally one of my favorite like movie series. So the fact that it had that on the front cover, I, I said, say less. And then this is what I'm really, really excited for. I got a blind date with a book. They usually don't have them, but since it's like around Valentine's Day, sometimes they put them out and there was only a couple left. So I got this one and I'm really, really excited for it. It's a YA fantasy. It's a retelling and it's a villain origin story. I'm not gonna open it yet because I am going to do a reading vlog on it. So stay tuned for that. I've been super craving retellings. Um, I, I feel like I'm in my, my Disney phase, like my Disney moods because with like the pirate stuff and then like the retellings and I just, I'm in a weird like fairy tale type of mood, if you can't tell. So those are the books that I got today. Aside from that, it's like three o'clock now. Just kidding, it's four o'clock. It's, I was out for too long, but I was honestly kind of just browsing around cause I haven't, I very rarely have days where I just let myself like not have a plan, if that makes sense. And I didn't, like today is not one of those days, but like when I was, my cat's literally freaking out because there's a squirrel at our back door. What was I saying? Oh, so like today when I was out like at Barnes and Noble and at Target and all that stuff, like I didn't go in with like a plan of this is what I want to get. This is what I'm looking for. Like I had things in mind, 
but I was mostly just kind of letting myself like get out of the house and browse around and look at all the fun stuff without like actually buying a lot. Cause it's too cold outside for me to like go on. Today is actually a, a decently nice day, but like it's been too cold outside for me to go on walks. That's what I usually do like in the spring, summer and fall to just kind of let myself like, you know, I'm really not the biggest fan of winter, but it's fine cause it's almost over. And I have been trying to just bundle up and wear cozy clothes. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not like depressed, but I feel like I'm getting in a depressed mood, if that makes sense. I've, I've just been very like down in the dumps today. I don't even know why. It's just, it's, it's so hard to like pinpoint what's going on and where my feelings are originating and even how I'm feeling. It's hard for me to explain it or even understand it. I've just been like stressed, I guess, and overwhelmed because I feel like I always have to be doing something and sometimes I just want to do nothing, but like I can't do nothing because I have too many things that require my time and attention. Long story short, I'm just a little bit overwhelmed and the cold weather and the the darkness of my home is it's just not it's not helping my situation and i don't want to complain because i i have so much to be grateful for and i have so much to be appreciative of and thankful for but i don't know like i said i just feel like i always have to be doing stuff and i just i just want one day where i don't have to do anything and i don't have to have a plan i don't have to have a checklist you know just just a day for me to just exist that's like all I want. Ugh, I hate being negative, but it's just sometimes I need to share my feelings. Today's been a good day though, besides like my weird depressive mood. Um, it's it's been a it's been a good day. I mean, I got books, I got yummy groceries. I'm so thankful for the things that I, like I am able to to get. That was a long rant for literally no reason. Um, anyway, I'm going to make some food because I'm hungry. Then after that, probably start one of my books. I don't know which one I want to start though. I have so many. Okay, so I think I'm going to try and finish The House Across the Lake. I'm not going to finish it tonight because I do have to go to bed in like two hours because I do have to work tomorrow. And I'm not going to let myself stay up till 3 a.m. again. I think when I read this before, I got to page like 50 or so. So I'm going to start from there so I don't have to read the entire first 50 pages over again. So hopefully I'll make a dent in this tonight. Um, I am filming this in a read, like I'm filming a reading vlog for some thrillers that I'm reading this month. So I'm not actually going to film any more of myself today, but I will be uploading a reading like popular thrillers video here coming soon-ish. So also stay tuned for that. But yeah, as for the rest of the night, I'm just going to be chilling and reading my book and maybe taking a bath and just kind of relaxing. I'm a little bit nervous about reading a thriller before bed, especially when my boyfriend's not here. Like I said, my roommate is just in the other room. So like, <laughs> I know that if I get freaked out, I'm not like alone, but I don't think I, I will because the only book that's ever actually like freaked me out was Verity, oddly enough. But those are my plans the next couple hours until I hopefully go to bed at a decent time tonight. I hope you had fun with me today on my cozy little comfort vlog. Let me know if you guys are doing anything fun this week. Take care of your bodies, take care of your minds, do something nice for yourself this week because you deserve it. I love you all so, 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 so much and I will see you in my next video.